This one's called Will You Make It? You are camping with your friends far away from home, but when it's time to go back, you realize that your fuel is running out and the nearest pump is 50 miles away. You know that on average, your car runs on about 25 miles per gallon. There are two gallons left. Considering these factors, write a function that tells you if it is possible to get to the pump or not. The function should return true um, or false. Yeah, that's sort of determined by this bool in the return type. The input values are always positive. Okay, so that's good. You could certainly error check. I won't do that here. I'll just take it on faith that they're positive. So um, they just threw this exception in. This is pretty common when you make stubs. You'll see you just throw an exception in there. So if anyone uses it, it gets attention. But that's our cue to write some code in. You can see in the first test they list below that kind of follows the example numbers they gave. 50 miles, 25 miles per gallon. You have two gallons of fuel. I've got another one in here, but uh, we'll sort of think about this example that they gave us. So you could make a print statement here if you wanted to just um, print out the values of the parameters. I think this one's straightforward enough where I won't worry about that. So, you know what, let's just do some parameter checking just because it's the right thing to do. If distance to pump is less than zero, or remember the double vertical bars are the OR operator, or MPG is less than zero, or fuel left is less than zero. Any one of these are sort of saying, um, that's invalid data. So I'll just say throw new exception. And as long as they were honest about providing good input, this will never actually trigger. So we know we have our positive values at this point. Oh, by the way, I just threw a generic exception. There are all sorts of types. You can find them for bad parameters. Uh, feel free to look up C sharp exceptions if you're interested in something more appropriate. Okay, so on to the problem. So this boils down to sort of figuring out how many gallons of fuel you need to make it to the pump and then comparing that against how much fuel you actually have. If the required fuel is in excess of what you have, then you obviously have a problem. So how can we do that? I'll note that all of these are, oh, you know what, these are, I didn't notice, these are unsigned integers, so we shouldn't be getting negative values. But anyway, we didn't hurt anything. So, um, yeah, H how do we figure out how many gallons of fuel do we need? And if you're looking at the example numbers, you got 50 and 25 there, we can determine that, right? You would take, what would you do? You would say 50 divided by 25. You're going to think of that like required fuel is equal to um, the miles, the miles you need to travel, right, divided by your miles per gallon. because miles per gallon, um, when you divide by that, you're actually multiplying by the reciprocal, which would be gallons per mile. And you can see that with the miles on bottom and miles on top, those units cancel out in your leftover with the number representing the gallons that you need. That's precisely what we're looking for. So we'll do that. I'm going to use doubles here. I'm going to cast one of these parameters to a double just so we don't have problems with truncation when you work with division on integers. Remember, if you take um, if you take a number like 10 and divide it by 3 and you're using integers, you're not going to get a precise value. Instead of 3 and a third, you're just going to get 3 and you lose some, some information there. And that could be re relevant, you know. So, we will say... Um, distance to pump 
divided by mpg, right? And we figured out that this will give us uh, a number of gallons that are needed to make it. And then simply, we need to check if that is, um, if that is less than or equal, we'll include the equal case where you just barely have enough fuel to get there. I can say return. Um, and if you, you could, hopefully you remember the talk we did on the order of operations, but it'll do the division first. Remember I said I have to, I want to do mine allowing decimal values in case it doesn't come out perfect so I don't lose data. So I got that. I can simply return that this quantity here is less than or equal to what we have. And I think that covers us. Yeah, looks good. I'll run the larger attempt. Good. I'll go ahead and clean up. I'll remove the error checking. And then, yeah, we'll submit. Oh, they're going to make me attempt again because I modified. No problem. Looks good. We'll go ahead and submit. Yeah, just kind of a basic math problem there. Hopefully you banged that one out. Yeah, same kind of thing here. A um, uh, little bit different order, but same idea. Zero fuel. Yeah, that works. That's... Uh, Okay, I'll just return that. But yeah, anyways, looks good. Uh, feel free to hit me up with questions. Otherwise, we'll go to the next challenge. Thanks.